an individual that fits the description of the sexual assault defender uh, suspect in Glen from Glendale on the corner of Cake Creek and Bell waiting at the bus stop. Now he fits the description as far as being a tall male black with dreadlocks, skinny, uh, waiting for Phoenix PD to show up to see if they're gonna ID or at least identify the individual to see if he has the tattoos of the tiger and the lion with the flame coming out. Um, so this guy is at the bus stop right now, waiting for a bus. I'm waiting for police to respond. It's taking a while. Um, I keep you posted. The individual is gonna be right there in that bus stop on Cave Creek, right by the side of uh, Starbucks. PD's here. PD's gonna approach the suspect. That's the guy right over there, standing there. In the dirt. Going for the bus. PD is going to approach him. Secondary police showed up. We're speaking to the individual over there. So basically, that was not the guy. But that's what we got to do. You know, if you right, see somebody that fits the description, that's what Glendale PD wants. If you have any idea, that we have any indication that there's an individual. Just call the police, just like we did. Call 911. Don't get involved. Just call 911. Have the police respond. Talk to the police. Let them know what's going on. Let them make the approach and the contact. And they'll verify if the individual. They'll investigate further. They'll investigate. We don't investigate, but we are out here. Based on the information that police put out there to the media, I guess when they put it out to the media, they're asking for the community's help. So by giving us that information, they're putting us on alert. Um, so we in God's army, that's what we'll do. We'll take the information, we'll just go about our normal business of preaching the gospel, being out there, being omnipresence, being seen in the public, um, allowing people to come up to us and ask us questions about Jesus, even ask us about what God's army is about. And then at the same time, while saving souls, we can save some lives and prevent the crime from happening again just by being vigilant with the information that police put out there through the media. So we're back in the area where the girl, a 12-year-old 12, 12 girl, was apparently dragged by that sexual uh, the suspect that grabbed her and uh, sexually assaulted her. So we're back out here. This is the same day uh, the PD, Phoenix PD, stopped that individual on the corner that when I spotted the individual and called 911 uh, to report a possible in regards to that sexual assault suspect that uh, Glendale PD was looking for. So you can see that the area is pretty uh, industrial, very quiet at night, so very easy to drag somebody back here. Nobody would even know about it. You know, this is the area. That this suspect had to work with, you know, especially imagine in dark, you just drag somebody out again. And all these industrial stores and businesses are closed at that hour of the night. I'm almost sure this guy works in the area or lives in the area, and he happened to spot the victim um, and just, you know, waited for the prime opportune time, you know, so. It's getting tough out there for women to be walking around in the streets. So I'm sitting around in this little parking lot over here in Maryville, uh, right off the corner of 55th Avenue and Camelback. The young victim, 12 year old girl that was uh, sexually assaulted by the male black with dreadlocks, was assaulted like a block away from here in the uh, industrial area. I think she may have been approached by the individual prior to that, to the attack, uh, about a week or two prior. And I think she may have been coming from the store or whatnot, or somewhere from this little uh, shopping center here. I'm sitting here in this little parking lot, this shopping center. I just showed you the sign, and it says tattoos. What are the odds that the guy that has the tiger tattoo and the lion tattoo, and a tattoo on his neck, got his tattoo at this place? That's detective work. Just being at the place that the incident happened, 
and now I'm just now I'm sitting at this location just a block away from the uh, industrial location where this little feet with this little 12 year old was sexually assaulted so I just spoke to the guy that does tats in the tattoo store doesn't recognize doing a tattoo of a tiger or a lion he said when he heard about it in the news him and his buddies were trying to think in their mind if they had ever done a tattoo like that uh, with the tiger and the lion on the same leg turns out that it was no <laughs>